What's up and welcome back to John Stark, Mac, movie your favorite blind film critic, and today we're going to talk about The Summit. I'm going to talk about this a little bit from more from the perspective of I'm never going to talk about this show again. So if you think you're like, oh my god, I found a recapper for The Summit. No. No. Uh, <laughs> but I don't do enough reviews of reality television. This is a brand new reality show on CBS. Uh, it also airs next day on Paramount Plus. It has audio description. Um, and that's why I wanted to talk about it, uh, because it does have audio description. And what is audio description like for reality television? Uh, it, it can be a mixed bag. Uh, some of it is great. Some of it is uh, really just, it leans in. Like, it knows the kind of thing that it's it's narrating and we get some really great work. We get it for something like um, The Goat uh, on Amazon, I thought really sort of understood what it was doing, the narration for that. Uh, everything that I've heard about, like Love Island, I've heard that has excellent audio description. I just didn't want to pick up on a new season. You got it. With the reality television, they have such a, like, a short lifespan where it's like you can't really go back and binge watch like previous seasons of, it's not like a regular show. Where you're like, are you watching? It's like, yeah, man, I'm on season uh, seven of Survivor. And they're like, why are you on season seven? You know, it's just, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'll get there eventually, man. I'll get to season 40, whatever. It's just going to take me a while. Um, no, I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, you just start watching it one day. Uh, you just, maybe you don't know the history of the show. But this is a brand new show, so there is no history to it. So what is the summit? Well, um, it's in New Zealand. We decided to do a show in New Zealand. Not shocking. Uh, and it, basically, 14 strangers have been picked uh, to start off the season of the summit. And uh, if they reach the top, if they reach the summit, then they win the money. But if... All, uh, if they don't, then they all go home empty-handed. Uh, and they are, like, one team at the beginning. Like, they're all put together as one team. Obviously, that's something that could change. Who knows? Uh, you know, they could all <laughs> free-for-all, like, race to the top. I don't know. I feel like with some guys, they're like, I'm tired of being slowed down. I'm just going to go up to the top at, at my own pace and wait there. And if people make it, they make it. And if not, at least I made it to the top. You know what I'm saying? At least I can go home. I'm waiting for somebody to do that and just be like that, on, be that power move and be like, I can't deal with this. I'm not doing this. And then just like walk ahead and go to the top. I want to be that guy. Like I want to see him. I don't know who that guy is, but I find I would find that incredibly interesting at this point. Who's just like, listen, some of you guys were inappropriately cast for the show. And until... <laughs> Until you guys drop off, I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm not going to keep not making checkpoints and camps. Uh, so I'm just going to walk ahead. It doesn't say really I can't. It just says that if if I make it and then there are other people who are still in the game who didn't make it, then I don't win any money. But at least I'd be able to say I made it to the summit. You know what I'm saying? Like at least I would be able to say, well, I did it. You know, did you hope anybody else? No. But then again, uh, so... And then for reasons I'll explain, too, because uh, we, from a blind perspective, I know nothing about these people. We have, we're, we're getting introduced to these people, like, one by one. Uh, like, first name and a little bit about their profession. They're talking a little bit about themselves. Uh, I always, I think the rule of reality television is that the people who tell you more about themselves in the beginning are doing that because they're going to be, they're not going to be around as long, so you <laughs> So you have to know more about them really quickly to get yourself immersed. Um, and that is very true for the first episode of the summit. Some guys done in like the first, what was like the first 30 minutes, like they barely started and he's out. A dude's like having like, uh, they're like, he might be having a heart attack. I don't know. And they like fly him out of there. Uh, how the helicopter comes in, the, the team medics come in and they're like, oh no, he's, he's got to go. Uh, but they still have other people who are out of shape. Like, I wouldn't do this competition. I'm out of shape. Um, not just the blind thing. I'm just legitimately out of shape. So I would have been like, well, I signed up for the wrong competition. You know, I'm not, 
not a physical competition type of person. So, um, those would not be the series. I could, like, do the Big Brother thing where we just, like, live in a house. And I just have to <laughs> survive <laughs> living in a house. But as soon as somebody's like, we need you to climb this mountain, I'd be like, uh, it's not going to happen. I just... <laughs> I just, I just, I can go ahead and tell you, I will not be able to be the finalist of the show. It's just not, well, why don't you want to try? And I'm like, I just, I know myself. I just know that I'm not going to make it, like, realistically. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to put myself and I'm not going to put other people in that situation. Especially considering it's, it's not a race to the top to where it's like, well, I could just see how far I make it. I know I'm not going to win, but I'm just do this for me, you know, because then I would, then there's more excuse, there's more reason, but at the beginning, you're like, I'm just holding people down, but everybody's worth something because they're carrying a certain amount of money, so when the guy drops off, but I thought about that, and I was like, it doesn't really matter because they're all, they'd have to split it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if they lost the money because that's, that's like his share of the million, so yeah, it's really kind of pointless. It's like, oh, wow, we lost the person who that would have been his share anyway. It's not like the pot doesn't, if somebody drops off, it's not like the, the it stays a million and then everybody earns more money so that you're like behooved to eliminate people. It's like you're going to win the same amount of money no matter what. And basically you can learn that uh, it's not a lot of money. It really, in, in perspective, um what was it, like, there was, like, 937,000 or something, like, left, so they're winning, like, 63,000-ish, I think, to, for this, it's really kind of, at the beginning, I'd be like, wait, what, um, what is this million stuff that you're talking about, and you're like, well, it's really, when you break it down, it's, like, 63,000 a person, and then you're gonna have to report that for tax purposes, so they're going to want their portion of that. And it's it's really just like, why are you doing this show? <laughs> if you don't have a shot at a million, like an actual real shot at the million, then why are you? Their pot is really low is what I'm saying. Um, and there are all sorts of characters and different personality types and alphas and betas and uh, younger and older. I love uh, I love when the people in their 30s are being portrayed as being like, like, older-ish than, like, the people in the 20s are like, well, we've got people in their 30s and they're out of shape. And I'm like, good God. Um, but anyway, uh, there's some, like, old coach, too, uh, in this episode who's like, I'm a, a gun barrel Texas. What a name for a city. And it's like, no, no, America doesn't have a problem with guns. We just name towns, like, gun barrel. Um, Anyway, uh, so the remaining 13 people go on for, like, the rest of the episode. And I just, I, I was like, this isn't my episode. But I'll talk to you about the audio description because that's the main reason I wanted to do this. So here's the problem with the audio description and why, another reason why I'm not engaged and why it doesn't work. Um, I was thinking to myself, just within the first 30 minutes, you could turn the TV series off because uh, at no point did I really feel like there were any sort of stakes. Like, I didn't completely understand what it was about the treachery of this path, you know, the treacherousness of this, of what was ahead of them, how hard it was. Uh, it's so early. You know what I'm saying? Like, audio description almost has to be like, this is un impossible, man. This is, this, the path forward is, they're having to climb steep. I mean, you have to have somebody who's in here who really knows what they're doing. Because the audio description is very just sort of like passive, and it's like there's we here here's some here's what it looks like outside. There's some greenery, and you know it, was, it felt very like surface level, but it can't be because they're experiencing supposedly like harsh conditions, um, but it never feels like they are because our audio description makes it feel like that they're just like walking through the woods. So like that guy just like <laughs> he like pieces out within like uh, like the first if this was not like a, a supersized premiere episode he'd be like gone within like the first half of the first episode which is odd 
for a, a competition reality series at this level that they would cast somebody who would try who would uh, be so out of shape that they would drop that quickly it's almost like did you pay him to drop is that all like made out because who who picked these 14 people that you have somebody like i if if the, if they are going through uh, heavy shit you don't feel it in the audio description at all I didn't feel like anything that they were laying out in the audio description I always felt like the reactions from the cast uh, to things were always bigger than um they were always talking about things They're like we walk like 12 steps and then we have to stop for five minutes I'm like why like, there's nothing coming out of the audio description to suggest anything of that. It's like, they're on two different wavelengths, two different series. I don't like this audio description track. That's why I decided to make a review of The Summit. A show I'm not planning on recapping. A show that's really hard to review. As a reality show, you're like, I don't know, does it work? It's like, for climbers, I'm sure they'll like the show. I'm sure for people who are like, let's go to the top of the mountain. But, uh, I don't know, they're on a path. And it just it seems like... You know, the walking through New Zealand, they have 14 days to get to their destination. Um, and, you know, they have, they have to reach, there's like a checkpoint every day and they reach camp or they don't reach camp. But, it, you know, it just, it didn't feel like, there were a lot of things that they would talk about that like they, uh, they have these sleeping bags that they zip themselves up in and they were like, oh yeah, the insects. Like, well, I don't even know, have we even mentioned insects or wildlife or flies or anything? Like, I don't think so. So are they a problem? Like, I was so disconnected from the audio description to what was actually, what was happening and what these cast members were talking about that I couldn't actually be interested in anything that was happening in the show. So, yeah, I'm just not coming back for more. Uh, this just didn't work for me on any sort of audio description level. This audio description didn't help at all. Um, and I'm done with the summit. And that's what I'm putting out there for the world. So as a blind person, uh, it's just, I thought the audio description just doesn't support it. They're like, they get to like a gorge and they have to like walk across the gorge. And it's like, they're like, it's too, I didn't even understand the, the challenge. There were like two ropes and they're like, oh, but you have to walk across and people have to be like of equal size and weight. And I was like, are they tightrope walking like I didn't even like it didn't even describe the challenge well enough you know where I was like I do they are they climbing up where are they going like I every time they would describe something it was never adequate it was I was just always like everything is inadequate and I don't know what's going on so at the end of the day um I've never actually done this before <laughs> uh for my grading system, I've almost, I've, I think I've exclusively saved this grade for shows that don't have audio description. I don't even think I've, I've had really bad TTS audio description that has talked on top of people before and I bitched about it, but I don't actually think I've done this before. I'm giving the summit the grade of unwatchable and it has audio description. That's where I'm at. So uh, in case you're wondering, <laughs> you're like, this is weird. He doesn't usually review reality shows. I actually hated the audio description so much, uh, that not only do I not want to come back, but it actually feels so different from everything else that's happening in the series. Like, it doesn't feel like it's supporting anything. Uh, a lot of times when you talk to people about audio description, they say, oh, it's there to bridge the gap. Uh, didn't do that at all. I felt like there was a huge gap between me and if I was watching this with like a sighted friend or a family member, I feel like they'd be watching a completely different show. Every time I was, I was like, is this treacherous? Is this hard? What's, what is this challenge? Like, you know, are there bugs? I don't know. You know I mean? Like you could basically watch this without audio description. You would get the same experience. The audio description doesn't offer you anything that is worth a damn. It's just fucking words, man. It's just like none of it helps. And that, I, I didn't feel like the audio description did anything except to be like, 
uh, give people's names. Like, that was the best thing that you could get would be like, Joe, 37, you know? Oh, great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know? Um, but you know it's only going to do that, like, once. And uh, then you have to try to, like, memorize that person's voice immediately so that you can refer to it for future references when that person speaks. Um, so, anyway. And being introduced to 14 people in the first episode and having to, like, memorize them all is just... It's just insane, anyway, for a reality show. But, yeah, no, this audio description was uh, not helpful at all. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, I'm kind of shocked i i don't know who made the audio description but damn uh i need to pay more attention to reality tv just like i felt like when i somebody was like talking about kids shows and i reviewed uh, a kids show and i was like oh yeah this is odd audio description like what are we doing for kids um I think people, when they operate on the fringe, they're just like, uh, nobody's paying attention to us. They're just happy at their words. I'm like, no, you could, you know, just putting words there doesn't help. They actually have to help us understand what's going on. You can't just say random things and be like, oh, there's a tree. Like, okay. Is the tree important? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the other side.